Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here today with game four of the series between the 84 Padres and the 1990 Cincinnati Reds in my best of five second round round robin uh, series. The winner of this game will go on to take on the 1987 Giants. And then the winner of that game in the National League will take on the 86 Mets. But first things first, right now we have a game four where the Reds are currently up two games to one over the 84 Padres. The Padres having won a wild one last um, in game three by the score of, I believe it was eight to seven. So that was a real shootout at the OK Corral. So we'll see what happens here. The Reds definitely don't want to find themselves in another shootout. They want to find themselves in a situation where their pitching shuts down the Padres or shuts it down to a great degree, as it did in games one and two. So with all of that having been said, there's nothing further to do but get on with the game. So, the leadoff hitter for the, um, let's see here, the leadoff hitter for the Padres and will be uh, Alan Wiggins. And he gets a 5-8, and that's a ground ball, second base. The second baseman is Bill Duran, and he is a 3. And that's a 1, so that's going to be a base hit for Alan Wiggins. He gets a hit. And oh, by the way, the pitcher for the Reds today, their pitching matchup, the Reds will have Tom Browning, who in 1990 was 15-9 with a 3.80 earned run average. And the Padres will send up Mark Thurmond, who was 14-8 with a 2.97. But right now, Wiggins is aboard. He's a double-A stealer. He's going to try to steal. And that's a 15. And what is Oliver's arm? Oliver's arm is a negative two, so he's gunned. That was probably a harbinger of things to come for the Padres. However, they do have a, uh, was that a hit that they, uh, that he had when he got on? Yes, it was. So the Padres have a hit, but they don't have a base runner anymore. Tony Gwynn is up and he gets a one seven, which is a single. And Tony Gwynn has been having a very disappointing series. And it's extremely disappointing for the Padres because they would have had two runners on with no outs instead of one at first with one out. Steve Garvey is up, and that's the second hit for the Padres. And that's a 6-5, and that's a home run 1-7. to seven. And that is going to be a double. And the only question is, are they going to send Gwynn? But they made the mistake trying to steal with Wiggins. Gwynn is a 1-15. to They are going to do it. They're sending him. And it's a 15. Unbelievable. Where was that hit? Right field. The right fielder. That might help because it's Glenn Bragg who had to come on for O'Neal. And he's a plus one. So they do score. Gwynn does score. But only just barely. So Garvey gets a hit, he knocks in a run, and meanwhile we have Browning over here has allowed three hits and a run, and now there's a runner at uh, first, no wait, that was a double, right, that was a double, so Garvey with the double and the RBI. And only one out. So through all of this, just one out and Kevin McReynolds up. And he gets a 6-9, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that is Barry Larkin. And Larkin, I believe, is a 1. Yes, he is a shortstop 1. And that is a 7, which gets him an out. And that's two away. McReynolds retired. Up steps Nettles, and he gets a 110, which is a ground ball first base, and he is out. So the Padres do score one run, though, in the first, and we go to the bottom of the first. 
with the score of one nothing Padres, who are fighting for their lives here. They have to win to stay alive in this tournament. Billy Duran gets a 5-6. That's a double 1-10 to ten or a single. And that's going to be a double. So the pitchers here are off to pretty bad starts, both of them. Barry Larkin gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is a pop-out to first, one away. Hal Morris gets a 4-10, which is a fly to center, and the center fielder is a 1. That's one of the few great fielders they have. That's a 19, so let's see what 19 and 1 is. Probably a roll again, and it is. And that's a 1, and that's a, an out. It used to be an error, but now on the new charts, it is an out. And Chris Sabo is up, and he gets a 6-11, which is a ground to first base. So the Reds do not get any runs in the first. We go to the top of the second. Top of the second. Padres leading in this one, one nothing. Hitting Browning pretty good in the first inning. Let's see what they do here. Carmelo Martinez gets 1-8, which is a single. They continue to hit Browning. Tim Flannery gets a 4-4, which is a fly to center. The center fielder is a 2, I believe. That's Eric Davis. And that's a 3-2. That's not good. That's a safe at second on error. So, let's see. I'm, I'm still behind here. They have another hit, right? Yeah, they had another hit. And the Reds had an error. And that error was on, surprisingly, Eric Davis. So the sure fielding Reds make a critical mistake here. Gary Templeton is up. They won't have the infield in. That is a catcher card, and the catcher is Oliver, and he's a three. That's a 12 and a three at catcher, which is a pass ball followed by foul out. So now there's a runner at third, and a run scores on the pass ball. So let's see. And that brings up Bruce Bochy with a man at third and no outs. And he gets a 6-8, which is a fly ball B and knocks in the uh, second run for the Padres. Sorry, third run overall. And Alan Wiggins is up with two out and he gets a 110, which is a pop to short. So the Padres strike for two, and now they have a 3 nothing lead going to the bottom of the second. And Eric Davis is up against Thurman. He gets a 6-8, which is a pop to second, one away. Glenn Braggs gets a 3-5, which is a single one to 14. And that is a single. That's only the second Reds hit. And so let's record it over here. Catch them up too. Billy Hatcher gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball B, two away. And that brings up Herm Winningham. And Herm Winningham gets a 5-4, which is a ground to third base. That's Nettles, he's a two. That's a three and a two. That's gonna be probably gonna be something. And it, it, no, it isn't. It's an out. Winningham gets out. So no runs come in for the Reds there. And we go to the top of the third. And uh, the Padres have scored in the first two innings. Let's see if they can score in a third consecutive inning. That is a 3-9 for Gwynn, and that's a single. And now Gwynn is finally hitting like Tony Gwynn. He's finally coming around. He can steal, but they're not going to do that yet because uh, they tried that with Wiggins, who was even a better base stealer, and he got out. So Garvey is up. That's a 6-7. That's a single one. And that's going to actually be a line out to third base, one away. And 
McReynolds is up. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's a triple one to two or a double. And that's going to be a double. And they can decide to send Gwyn, but they tried that um, in the uh, first inning, and he almost got gunned out at the plate. But they are going to try it again. They feel they have to do that. 16 this time, but um, the right fielder's arm... And that is Billy Hatcher. Or wait a minute, no. The right fielder is is Bragg because he came on for he came on for the injured O'Neill. And he's a plus one. So again, Gwyn barely makes it under the tag. So um, that is, and the Padres are just taking it to the Reds. Nettles is up. He gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball to second. That's two away. And Carmelo Martinez is up. He gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. So he hits it back to Browning. But Browning does give up another run in the third inning. And we go to the bottom of the third with the score... Four nothing, if you can believe that. Padres over the Reds, trying to make a comeback here. And the Reds will go up against Thurman with Joe Oliver to lead it off. And that is a 6-4, which is a home run 1-11. to And that is actually a double. So, Oliver with a leadoff double. It's not like the Reds are not hitting the ball. Bill Duran gets a 3-5, which is a fly ball to right, so there's one away. Barry Larkin is up. He gets a 5-6, which is a double 1-10, to and that's going to knock in the first run. Larkin with the, uh, with the hit and the RBI. And let's catch up the Reds board, because now they've got four hits. <coughs> And a run. And, <clears throat> and that was a... What was that? Was that a double? Morris is up. 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight is a pop-out to second, two away. And that brings up Chris Sabo, and he gets a 6-10, and that is a fly out to center field. So whether that was a 6, the Padres had scored in both the previous innings, and now in this inning, coming into this inning, they have scored in the three previous innings, and have a 4-1 lead. And the... Now the Reds are going to stick with Browning a little bit longer, see if he can straighten things out. Tim Flannery is up. He gets a 5-6, which is a pop-out to first base, one away. Templeton's up. He gets a 6-9, which is a ground to short. The shortstop is Larkin. He's a 1. That is a 20, probably a roll again. Uh, no, it isn't. It's an out. And then Bochi is up, and he gets a 6-8, which is a fly ball to left. So, that's the first zero inning that the Reds, that Browning and the Reds have held the Padres to as we go to the bottom of the fourth. And Eric Davis is up at the plate. And he gets a 1-6, which is a walk. First walk. Issued today by Thurman. Eric Davis is an A stealer. He'll try to steal. And he does make it. Bochi's arm is not that good. So Eric Davis gets a walk. And he still steals a base. Glenn Bragg is up. He gets a 3-8, which is a single one asterisk. So runners have the runner has to hold. Runners are at the corners. And that is another hit for the Reds. So it's really a hit parade here for both teams. It's just the Padres have more runs and Hatcher coming up. 5-6. You know what that is. That's a double 1-10. to 10. 
single double asterisk. That's going to be a single and scores a run. So that is another hit for the Reds, and that's their second run of the game. Herm Winningham is up. He gets a 4-9. That's a pop-out to first. So I believe that that's two down. I think that's... I don't know. That might be only one. And then Oliver comes up, and he gets a 4-10 which is a fly ball to center field. That's a one. That's McReynolds. And that is an out. Winningham is out. Or um, Oliver is out. So they only get the one run in the fourth. If I gypped them, I gypped them. But, you know, I don't... Who knows? That may have happened. But... Alan Wiggins is up here in the top of the fifth. And he gets a 3-8, which is a walk. So Wiggins walks. And he's not afraid to try it again, even though he did get thrown out in the first inning. This time he does make it. Got to figure a double A is going to make it more than he's not. A lot more. Tony Gwynn is up. He gets a 5-7. That's a strikeout. One away. Really is not um, Browning's day. In fact, that's his first strikeout. Garvey is up. He gets a 1-12, which is a foul out to the catcher plus injury. So there's two away. Roll for the injury, but he's only temporarily injured and stays in the game. Good for Steve Garvey fans. And Kevin McReynolds is up, and he gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, and he is out. So, no runs come across for the Padres in the fifth inning, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. With the score 4-2, it's still a very close game. It's still really anyone's game. Duran is up. He gets a 1-8, which is a home run 1-3 or a double. And that's going to be a double for Duran. And of course, the seventh hit for the Reds. And that brings up uh, Barry Larkin. He gets a 5 9. That's a ground ball um, to the second baseman C. That moves the runners over to third. The Padres will not play the infield in since they do have um, a one run or a two run lead. Three nine on Hal Morris is a single one to fifteen, and that is going to be a single and knock in a run. And Chris Sabo is up. He gets a six ten, which is a fly to center, two away. I don't think either one of these pitchers is going to make it to the end of the game. And then 1-9 uh, is a strikeout by Davis. First strikeout for Thurman, as a matter of fact. And one run does come in in the fifth for the Reds. As we go to the top of the sixth, now Browning has settled down a little bit, so they're going to try to still stick with him. <clears throat> they would rather do that, especially since they do have a one run or a one game lead in the series. Greg Nettles is up. He gets a 3-5, which is a double one to three or a single. And that is going to be a single. So Nettles with another hit. That's the seventh hit for the Padres. Carmelo Martinez is up. He gets a 4-7. That's a single. And they are going to bring in Randy Myers. He is, of course, one of the nasty boys. And he inherits two runners on with no outs and Tim Flannery at the plate. And that is a 6-8. 
and that's going to be a walk. So Myers comes on and greets the Padres by walking Flannery. Bases are loaded, no outs. The Reds are going to play the infield in because they really have to. 6-10 is a ground ball C, but that cuts the run off at the plate. One away. Templeton out. Infield is still in. Bochi up. He gets a 1-7. That's a ground ball A, but that just cuts the run off. Two away. And now the infield plays back at normal depth, and the Reds might be blowing an opportunity here with Wiggins. He gets a 5-4. That's a catcher. The catcher is Oliver, and he's a 3. That's a 19 and a 3 at catcher, which is roll again. And that's a three and a three, and that's a pop-out. So they do get out of it. Unreal. The, the, uh, the Padres had them on the ropes. It brag up at the plate. Thurman's still out there, though. Three, four, that's a ground ball short. One away. The Padres' bullpen really not quite what the Reds is, so... Billy Hatcher gets a 6-2. That's a pop-out to third. So they want to stick with Thurman probably as long as they possibly can. And Herm Winningham comes up and he strikes out. And that is only the second strikeout for Thurman. No runs come across for the Padres in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. Tony Gwynn is up. And that is a 2-7, which is a ground ball to first base. He's out for the first time today. Steve Garvey gets a 3-5, which is a fly to center. That's two away. And Kevin McReynolds gets a 1-5, which is a single. Singled off Randy Myers. And Greg Nettles is up, and he gets a 5-6, and that is a strikeout. And Joe Oliver is up. Facing Thurman, he gets a 5-5. That's a fly to center, one away. Bill Duran gets a 4-5. That is a walk. So, Bill Duran walks. Barry Larkin up. He gets a 1-4, which is a line out to second. Two away. And Hal Morris up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a fly to center. So the Reds get no runs in the seventh. We're going to the top of the eighth. And Myers will be out. They are going to go get the only nasty boy left that has not appeared in the series, and that's Rob Dibble. Because they want to hold this series, or this game, right where it is. Um, we go to the top of the eighth, though. And Carmelo Martinez will greet Rob Dibble. And that is a 4-8, which is a walk. So Carmelo works a walk from him. Tim Flannery gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball B. So now Flannery is at first. And he isn't a stolen base threat. Templeton comes up to the plate, gets a 3-3, and that's a ground ball second base double play. So the Padres get no runs in the eighth. Dibble comes on and shuts things down. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. And things have quieted down the last three innings, as you can see from the scoreboard. Chris Sabo is up. Thurman's still out there. That's a 6-11. That's a ground ball first. One away. Eric Davis is up. That's a 3-9. That's going to be a double one to two or a single. And that is a single for Eric Davis. 
ninth hit allowed for um, Thurman, and that is going to be it for Thurman. Padres going to the pen and bringing in Dave Dravecki. Who you might remember tragically broke his arm and eventually had to have the arm amputated and it was his pitching arm. So we have Glenn Braggs up, one out, one on, and he gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout, two away. And that brings up Billy Hatcher. And Billy Hatcher gets a 2-6, which is a pop to shortstop. No runs come in in the eighth. And Dibble is going to be extended um, to the ninth inning. Because they really are close enough to win this game. Bochi up at the plate. He gets a 6-9, which is a strikeout. Can expect a lot of those, although that is the first one for Dibble. Wiggins is up, he gets a 312. That's a walk. So Wiggins working his second walk of the game. And he will steal. And he does make it this time. So he's attempted three steals and been successful on two. Tony Gwynn up. That is a 6-7. It's a strikeout. Second one for Dibble. And Garvey up. He gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball. Pitcher A. So Garvey grounds out. No runs come in for the Padres in the ninth. We go to the bottom of the ninth. And the Reds needing a run to tie. Two to win. Winningham is up at the plate. Dravecki is still out there. 6-8 is a single one. And that will be a line out to third base. Winningham is out. Next batter is Oliver, but they're going to have a pinch hitter for Oliver. And the pinch hitter is going to be Mariano Duncan, who hit 3.06 in uh, 1990. And he gets a 2-7, which is a double 1-16. He was just what the doctor ordered. And he would actually, though, is only going to get a single. So Duncan, pinch hitter. And that brings up Bill Duran with one runner on, one runner out. And that is a 4-9. And that is a triple 1-3 or a double. And that is going to be a double. And the running on Duncan is a 1-17. to They're going to send him. That's a no-brainer. And it's an 18. Where was it hit? It was hit to left field. The left fielder's arm is... Uh, who is that left fielder? That is going to be Carmelo Martinez. I don't have a lot of high level of... Uh... No, it's a zero. So he is out. He's gunned out at the plate. Unbelievable. Two down. They tried to extend it. They man. The rolls that are coming up on, on these things is really crazy. But that is the eleventh hit. Just a run didn't score on it, even though it could have. And now Barry Larkin's up with two out, a man at second, and a two six is a single one to seven. And that is going to be a single. Of course, it's one asterisk because it's a split call. So um, Larkin gets a single. And now it's up to the guy that you would most probably want to see up in this situation with runners at the corners, two out, Hal Morris at the plate. And it is. He's a du hits a double one to 19. And that knocks in a run. And... They could try to score Duran, although they haven't had a lot of luck with these extending runners. Really, neither team has. It's been it's been uh, close calls the entire time. Um, hmm. 
or wait a minute, Duran got out, so it's one to it's one to seventeen Larkin. They're gonna do it. They gotta do it because this is for the win. And it is a twelve, and it does score Larkin, and Morris gets the. Uh, or wait a minute, there's Larkin, and that is the two runs that they needed right there. That's another hit, um, and they did get two runs. And they win the game, five to four, in the bottom of the ninth. That was a good one. Dravecki blew it for him, but uh, yeah. So the uh, Reds are going to move on to play the '87 Giants, and this was a real nail biter. It looked like the Padres had it in hand, but they didn't. So that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z Bob Zolke, signing off.